where they're not here. This is how they fit together, just like in our minds. So I wanted you to get a good idea of how all this stuff is put together. So when you come out and you need to do a wide angle turn with a mine car, they have these slip plates here. See that? So that way they can come out and they can shock you this mine car around and then get onto another set of track right there. And then somebody's got a photo of it and get those poles cut right off. If you remember the last video that we just put out on Del Mar, we showed you classic examples of square set timbering. Square set's perfect if you've got large stokes and you and you got soft ground, brittle ground, and you want to support it. So they would do square sets like you see in here. And then of course they invented that on the Comstock load. You can see what they're doing is they're using what's called a burly. A burly is a column drill. And that was the predecessor to the famous jack leg, which is what they use in the mining industry today. Those things weigh about 120 pounds just to drill, not the column. Those things are super heavy, two, sometimes three-man teams. The early ones were sluggers. They'd actually beat their way into the rock, and then later they, they came out with pneumatics that would spin and then water flush after that. But it was a lot easier than doing single or 